This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia, and Kids Health Net. On our planet, Earth is unique in the solar system with most of its surface, about 71% covered in ocean. Between these stretches of ocean are large, continuous masses of land on Earth called continents. There are seven continents in all, distinguished by geographical and sometimes cultural factors. They form the main divisions of the Earth's surface. There's North America, which includes countries like the United States, Canada and Mexico. There's Europe, which includes 44 countries including France, Germany, Italy and Scandinavian countries too. Then there's Asia, the largest continent, with 48 countries which includes China, India, Russia and Japan. South America, located below North America, includes countries like Brazil, Argentina and Colombia. While Africa includes countries like Nigeria, Egypt, South Africa and about 50 others. And let's not forget the land down under, Australia often referred to as both a country and a continent. The Australian continent also includes New Zealand, an island country to its southeast. But today, we're heading to a continent vastly different from any other, Antarctica. Take notes during this virtual field trip and try the quick quiz at the end. Imagine a vast icy landscape stretching as far as the eye can see, where the air is crisp and the silence is broken only by the occasional cry of a seabird or the cracking of ancient ice. Welcome to Antarctica, the southernmost continent on Earth, a land of extremes and a place of unparalleled beauty. This frozen continent, located in the Antarctic region of the Southern Hemisphere, is surrounded by the cold waters of the Southern Ocean. As we explore this icy wilderness, we discover that Antarctica is a land of superlatives. It is the coldest, driest and windiest continent on the planet. The average annual temperature ranges from a bone-chilling minus 10 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit on the coast to an unimaginable minus 60 degrees Celsius, minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit in the interior. In fact, the lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth, a mind-numbing minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, was measured in the heart of Antarctica. Despite the extreme cold, Antarctica is technically a desert. The dry valleys, located in the continent's interior, are the driest places on Earth, with some areas not having seen rain for nearly two million years. The air is so dry that snow rarely falls, and when it does, it often sublimates, turning directly from a solid to a gas without ever becoming liquid water. The winds that sweep across Antarctica are equally unforgiving. Winds forming in the high altitudes of the continent's interior race down towards the coast, reaching incredible speeds of up to 320 kilometers per hour, 200 miles per hour. These relentless winds scour the landscape shaping the ice and snow into otherworldly formations. Amidst this harsh environment, some life finds a way to survive. Antarctica is home to a unique array of wildlife, each species adapted to survive in the extreme conditions.
penguins. Perhaps the most iconic residents of the continent waddle across the ice in large colonies. Emperor penguins, the largest of the species, brave the coldest temperatures on the planet to raise their young, while Adelie, Chinstrap and Gentoo penguins dive into the icy waters in search of krill and fish. The southern ocean surrounding Antarctica is equally rich in life. Seals, such as the Weddell seal, leopard seal and southern elephant seal, haul out onto the ice to rest and give birth. These skilled predators are perfectly adapted to hunt in the frigid waters. Whales, including the majestic blue whale, the gentle humpback whale and the fierce orca, also call these waters home, migrating to the region to feed on the abundant krill and fish. The skies above Antarctica are alive with seabirds. The wandering albatross, with its incredible wingspan of up to 3.5 metres, 11.5 feet, soars effortlessly over the waves. Snow petrels, pure white against the blue sky, and Antarctic skuas, fierce predators of the air, are just a few of the many species that make this continent their home. While the ice and snow may seem lifeless, Antarctica is not entirely devoid of vegetation. Mosses, lichens and algae, hardy organisms capable of surviving in the most extreme conditions, cling to rocks and thrive in the short summer months. As we delve deeper into the secrets of this frozen continent, we discover that Antarctica plays a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. The vast ice sheet that covers the continent, accounting for 90% of the world's ice and 70% of its fresh water, reflects sunlight back into space, helping to regulate global temperatures. And if all the ice in Antarctica were to melt, global sea levels would rise up to 60 metres, 200 feet, dramatically altering coastlines worldwide. Antarctica is a land dedicated to science and peace. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959, sets aside the continent for peaceful scientific research and prohibits military activities. Researchers from countries around the world brave the extreme conditions to study the unique environment, climate and wildlife of Antarctica, working together to unlock the secrets of this fascinating continent. As we conclude our virtual journey to Antarctica, we leave with a newfound appreciation for this incredible continent and the vital role it plays in our world. The frozen landscape may seem distant and inhospitable, but it is an integral part of the intricate web of life that sustains our planet. By understanding and protecting Antarctica, we ensure that its wonders will continue to inspire and amaze generations to come. OK, let's see what you've learnt. Time for the Antarctica quiz. The quiz consists of 10 questions. Good luck!
don't forget to subscribe.